two, one, two, three, four. Those vegan guys. I thank you. Now, do you make a lot of soups? Or have you never made a soup? I started making soups years ago inspired by um, Nigella Lawson with her um, uh, roasted, uh, what was it Jason, roasted sweet potato and butternut squash yes. soup which we kind of uh, became a regular thing but was it Jason? <laughs> I've always got, I've really got into soups now and if you're, if, if you've never made a soup before they can be the simplest way to start your kind of cooking journey. So today I'm going to knock up a quick courgette soup. I'm just using one inch of these stock cubes. I've got my um, I've got my stock already rolling in the pan here. I'm just going to add a bit more water, uh, probably about a liter and a half for well, no, probably about a liter. Yeah, well, maybe a liter and a half. And I'm using one net of courgettes that I uh, got from the supermarket. Um, so dead simple, chop them up into bits. What I always do with courgettes, because I just find it really easy, is top and tail and cross cut so that you end up with four. And then because I'm boiling them in a stock, I would cut these a lot thinner if I was going to put this in a pasta sauce um, that's probably about four times as thick as I would for a pasta sauce chop your courgettes drop them on your kitchen floor don't care that you did and put them back in your pan five second rule yeah um, do that with the rest of them and then when they're cooked through uh, will come back because it's so easy to make this into a soup. Now this particular soup, the courgette one, I have to confess, is a very very thin soup. Uh, but I have a very special technique for thickening it up. Couldn't say that word then. For thickening it up. Do excuse the uh, vacuum noise upstairs, won't you? My husband's vacuuming. Um, the courgette soup, I've just decided to put about this many frozen peas in because I've done the, just the plain courgette soup before. There we go, they're in there, including you, chap. Um, so, yeah, there you go. It's now going to be a courgette and pea soup. Oh, overexposed. Okay, we're at the final stage of our soup. Everything's cooked down now in our stock. Looks great already. I could just stab that with a chunk of bread, to be honest. But we're going to um, blend it into a smooth soup. Now, I used to always use a jug blender to blend soups. And then I started using one of these, a nice little hand blender. Here's the mistake I made, Karen. I bought a plastic one and because I always had it on the bottom of the pan trying to kind of make my soups smooth it melted and went all misshapen and foul do you remember that? Mm -hmm. mm. so I bought this lovely metal one and I just thought then I'm going to actually put this in our affiliate store link because you get with it a chopper that you attach this top bit to uh, and a mixer and a little jug it's actually a really really good one it's Morphe Richards and it's metal no melting that. Um, so I've turned the soup off and I've let it cool down for a little bit because I don't want to get like, you know, boiling splashes. But basically, you just get your thing in there and start blending it. Sometimes it's good to kind of do some, you know, get some chunks underneath it and press down, which is what I'm doing. Here. About the texture, I think it's going to be absolutely great. Do you want to come look, Jess? See, 
if that was a little bit thinner than it is, um, I think the peas have added some texture to to it. If it was a little bit thinner than it is and I wanted uh, it, it thicker, which I don't, but here's the trick so you know for next time. Put, rip up a slice of bread, preferably homemade bread, uh, but rip up a slice of bread, put that in and whisk again. And it just adds that nice thickness. But the thing about today's video was to just show you how simple it is to make soup. Uh, one of the most delicious ones that I only use one stock cube for because you want the more the flavour of the vegetables is broccoli and cauliflower and I'll link a video up there where we've done a broccoli and cauliflower soup uh, because cauliflower is a beautiful natural thickener when you make it into a soup you get a really beautiful thick soup. Uh, Jason, I'll swap with you I'd like you to have a test okay. because I haven't ooh, I haven't put any salt and pepper in it that's just the stock cubes the courgette and the peas I don't think it needs anything to be honest but then we could always have salt and pepper on the table well that's what we do don't we, we tend to we tend to put salt and pepper on the table so it's nice mm, it's but gorgeous let me have a test well, just to see if I agree with you. Mmm. Oh, that really, that's lovely. Mm -hmm. That's lovely. That's a really beautiful, summery soup. That would be gorgeous hot with a brown bread roll uh, we've got. So there you go. Uh, courgette and pea soup this time. Um, but you can, honestly, you can use this method, stock, boil vegetables, blitz, with more soups. And what you might find really interesting is roasting some things first. Uh, I'll also put the recipe up here for our um, rip-off of uh, Nigella Lawson's roasted vegetable soup, because that's honestly incredible. But that's more, much more of a winter soup. This is a summer soup. Get making your soups, kids. Impress your family and friends. So that uh, pan of soup has done six fabulous portions for our family dinner today and there's plenty left in the pan for another day in the week. Are we in focus? Are we in focus Karen? Yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the soup recipe. Please check out our playlists for lots, lots more. Um, thank you very much for watching. Love you, mister. Love you. Mwah. We love you very much as well. Uh, please be excellent to yourselves and be excellent to each other.